Hello, now we are in chapter 2. In this chapter, we will basically talk about what is progressive dive and different operations done in progressive dive. What actually is a progressive dive? A progressive die is one type of truss tool manufactured to produce components mainly out of sheet metal components. Uh, in a progressive die, a strip is prog will progress from one station to another. Thus, the name progressive die. And in each station, a different truss tool operation is done, such as piercing, blanking, shearing, coining, embossing, etc. You can see a strip with a lot of holes in it. The movement of the strip is from left side to right side. In the first station, we will be doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 piercing as is a testing single stroke. In second station, we do a piloting operation. Piloting operation is nothing but locating the strip accurately. And in third and final station, we do a blanking operation. You might be wondering what is difference between piercing and blanking. In piercing, the slug coming out of the stroke is waste. We won't use it. It's a scrap. But the sheet metal component coming out of this blanking is the actual component which we need. There's one more strip here. In this, you can see a lot of holes. Since we already discussed piercing operation, I'm not going to elaborate on the piercing part. You can see notching here notching is nothing but cutting uh, a cutting operation on the width of the strips you can see two notching operations done in this station that is on the top and one here now you can see a bending operations bending is nothing but folding a strip into different angles it could be z u flat l shaped you can also see a parting of operation Parting is different from cutting, cutting off operations. In parting, we'll be, we in, on the punch, we'll have the profile on both sides, left and right side. But in cutoff operation, the punch will be straight and it just cut the part. Some of the other operations, I mean familiar operations we can find on sheet metal is embossing, lancing, flanging, etc. Embossing is very common operation. It um, this is similar to forming. A shape is cut on punch and die, and metal is squeezed between it. If you see the cross section of an embossed component, the thickness doesn't vary anywhere. Lancing is another operation. It's slightly different from bending. In lancing, in lancing. Uh, at a single stroke, there will be cutting as well as bending operation. You can see a small embossing operation in this embossed in this sheet metal part also. Now we'll discuss about extrude holes. These are very common operation done nowadays. These holes are used to uh, used as screw holes or rivet holes. Initially, a small hole will be pierced and with a special tool, we'll en enlarge this diameter. Now we'll discuss about coining operation. Coining is slightly different from embossing. If you cut the cross section of a coined part, you can see variation in the thicknesses throughout the area. The perfect example of coining is the coins which we use, one rupee, two rupee coins. Next is deep drawing. Um, deep drawing is slightly different from normal drawing. In deep drawing, the length of the component is is more than diameter of the component. It might vary in two times, three times, etc. The more the length, we have to in implement a lot of stations in between to get a good drawing. And finally, the forming. Forming is uh, it's like a uh, the profile is cut on the punch, I mean the punch side and the die side and metal is uh, flown between the gaps of this, uh, between the gap of punch and die. 
Now you can see a basic die set. This is a plan view of the die. You can see few holes in the die. Number one is the die. This is the die. And below it is a die shoe that is number 10. And strip is guided through 11. That is guide rail. We can see few punches here. This is a blanking punch with a pilot in it. This is a piercing punch. This is an, a notching tool. It's, I think it's a side cutter also. These are the fasteners which hold the parts accurately. Behind the punch, there is a punch back plate and there is a top plate on which a shank is mounted. Thank you.